hi guys welcome to my channel it's a girl that I and I'm back again with another marriage lesson video today again with my husband I managed to force him to do this <laughs> <laughs> get him to be here and at least share some wisdom or some experience you know uh, yeah I feel like as women we tend to be more open about sharing our own experiences and so on and so mm -hmm. they start giving there's no much yeah. voice when it comes to the male part like a man even learning anything to begin with when it comes to marriage so it's always refreshing to get to understand when it the comes lessons. to finances okay. finances marriage anything in life oh, in general because men oh. tend yeah like you know it's in the women were more active and doing yeah, things yeah. so it tends to seem like maybe men don't have the lesson yeah. <laughs> so yeah. learn, and there's a lot that they learn as well like us so yeah yeah so today we'll be talking about our money lessons by the way do you want to say hi Yes, hi, how are you guys? Please like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> um, yeah, how are you? We're gonna be talking about money today. Mm -hmm. uh, however, we are not financial advisors. Yes, please. <laughs> we're simply we're just gonna be just sharing, sharing our, our, our lessons. Own journey. Mm -hmm. um, we 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 just sharing our own perspective, mm -hmm. and we believe everybody has a voice when it comes to money. Mm -hmm yeah yeah this is not necessarily that go do this go do that go do that it's just our experience if you have anything that you feel you can pick up from that then you're welcome to but if you feel that oh, this is not for me then yeah it's still okay you know if you want to add you can add and so on so i think where do we start we can start with our own um philosophies that we had because you know when it comes to marriage things marriage is made up of two individuals coming from different parts of the world different experiences and so on that end up impacting how we interact mm -hmm. in a marriage and the ideas we bring to marriage True. so i think we can start there you know um the mistakes we think we made and the philosophies we had around money Mm. Should I start? Mm. Should I start? Uh, I can start. One thing I wanted to say, mm. um, something that is coming to mind as I'm thinking about philosophies. Mm. Um, I, I believe most of the philosophies one tends to have as you grow up is philosophies that we get from school, is philosophies that we get from uh, people around us, society. Um, but I think, I think the school really robbed us when it came, when it comes to this. Mm. And it's something I was thinking about now that, you know, every career path that you take will eventually lead into you having money. Mm. So you will be in contact with money, mm. irrespective of what you do. You might be a doctor, a lawyer, whatever. Um, so financial literacy, I believe, was supposed to be inculcated at school. It's mm -hmm. something that was supposed to be developed there, nature there, taught there. Mm -hmm. So that when you come out of um, of school, you understand. And by school, I mean both high school and varsity. Even mm -hmm. in varsity, they don't even tell you about how do you manage your finances. And I think that's why it becomes a very difficult thing to do. And, and to tie up with what you're saying, it sort of then influences the philosophy you will have going into marriage, getting that first job and starting into uh, marriage. Because nobody has taught you mm. how to manage money. Um, so you, your financial literacy is actually not there at all. You see, nobody has laid that foundation. So I believe, I, I think therefore that uh, uh, our philosophies as well where, uh, I mean, we're not uh, exempted or rather immune to, to, to that uh, uh, environment which robbed us the situation 
I mean, sorry, the opportunity to learn mm. uh, more about finances. Yeah. So what, when, what mistakes do you think you made that kind of like were influenced by the philosophies that you had? I think I... I don't know what to say when it comes to that, yes. To be honest, because uh, if I were to be honest, mm -hmm. I don't know whether you can do it. <laughs> I'm not cutting anything. <laughs> No, like if mm -hmm. I were to be honest, I think I, I I don't think I've made mistakes, but I believe I could have made tremendous mistakes had I not met you, because uh, I think I was not given. I think you will understand this yourself. Yeah. I think I was not given the opportunity to make mistakes. <laughs> You understand? So I can say I, I would have made a lot of mistakes. I would have yeah. uh, bought the most expensive car, for an example. I would have done the. Um, I would have taken money to you know. Yeah, yeah. Get whatever expensive house, whatever. I would have done all a, a lot of things that I sit down today and I look back and I think, wow, that was a blessing in disguise, you know. Uh, 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 mm. Being meeting you and being deprived of that opportunity to make I wanna those ask mistakes. something because like you were deprived of that opportunity to make mistakes, yeah. And sometimes in our moment of not making mistakes and standing back, you can learn and listen to say, actually that was my mistake. I should have actually done more of this rather than that. Mm. I wanna bring context, so whew, I hope <laughs> we're trying to really not <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We are sharing but not too much. Yeah. But yeah, but I'm gonna bring context to this. In the first year of our of, of our marriage, mm -hmm. you were doing your PhD. Yes. And so you were getting lump sums. Yeah. And so as you say, obviously when you're gonna the mistakes you're making they involve taking loans, right? Yes, yes. And meaning that if you're getting a lump sum, you're forced to take your things cash. Buy things cash. Yes, yes. However, I was working. Mm. You see, so I was. I, I had that. You know what? As, as a person who was working, I had that room to take anything I wanted. Mm. And so I feel that in our first year of marriage, mm. now you are very bold and very much in charge of finances. Like you, like. We're not going to do this, we should be doing this. Mm. We shouldn't be eating like this, we should be, I mean, we shouldn't be spending this much, we should be spending like this. Mm. We shouldn't be having this account, we should be doing this and that. And mm. so, in our first day of marriage, although you didn't have that thing of, oh, it's time, I'm going to take that car, yeah, 500,000 or 700,000 and so on. Mm. But because of that lack of boldness and say, in being in charge, Mm. of the finances as you are right now that can be a mistake are we on oh, do you see like don't okay, you think right. that's a mistake don't you think no i mistake? get it i get it the the, the mistake the I, I think in the in the beginning phases of our marriage i was like uh a bit reluctant mm. and, and and i think it boils down to the financial literacy i was talking mm. about earlier that i didn't know the their consequences <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> To spending um, a, yeah. a, a money, you yeah. know, the and the way you, you you were managing your finances, mm -hmm. I oh, I thought that that's fine. I mean, she's working; she <laughs> can get whatever she wants. So I also and I think also there is this thing that you know, um, you know, for an example, as you said, you were working, mm -hmm. um, and 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 I was still studying at the time. Yes. But I'm saying there is also that thing of, uh. I think it's a subconscious thing where you say, you know what, I don't want to control, control her finances mm -hmm. or dictate what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll just leave her to do whatever she wants to do. Mm -hmm. And I think that was maybe the mistake mm -hmm. because then it opened up a room for you to make mistakes as well mm -hmm. without somebody being there to say, correct you no to say no one could yeah I mean, my mom or my dad so if you are not saying anything <laughs> so you just continue spending <laughs> so yeah so i think then um yeah the question of not being fully in charge mm -hmm. and and making sure that i 
Uh, I do offer head. advice. That's I offer a suggestions. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> you know. So yeah. So I I think yeah. Maybe in that regard, you're right. I I I I I, I that's the mistake I can think of at the moment. Yeah, because that's one mistake I can think of. If you've watched our previous video, I mentioned there about what I love about you the most was that you know over after we had Ufundo, I saw you coming out like as this man this father mm. this husband like mm. you were bold in everything and i saw that i feel like maybe mfundo changed you and challenged you where you had like that awakening to say i'm no longer a boy i'm a dad i don't know <laughs> yeah, so yeah. i should just be more in charge and so that's what i love because then mm. you know the voice of reason mm. but for me now that we're talking about my spending we're throwing it there and there and so on for me i can say i'm not a person who spends in luxurious stuff but I spend. Hmm. Do you understand? Like, yeah. I wouldn't go and I, I'm conscious that, you know, here I'm going to be wasting my money. I shouldn't get that. It's not necessary, you know. Hmm. But again, my childhood philosophy is seeing how, number one, my dad, he was somebody who I've told you many times. Yes. When it comes to money, my father yeah. does not care. If you come and say, I need one, two, three, or please give me, even if you're asking for 10 rents, he's mm -hmm. going to open the wallet. Whatever highest amount he gets, if it's 100 rents, he's going to give you. He does mm -hmm. not care if I'm giving a, an 8-year-old or 10-year-old 50 rents or 100 mm -hmm. rents. Like, you know, my father was that person who just throws money. You know when they say you throw money at the problem? Yeah. yeah, I think he's a perfect example of that. Like, <laughs> you know, even when it comes to what my mom wants to do and so on in the house, he never used to want to interfere with that. Like, what do you need mm -hmm. to do? Okay, here's the money. Go do it and so mm -hmm. on. So now, it meant for me, I, I was, what can I say? I'm not stingy in that sense, you yeah, know, yeah, of... Yeah. If, if there's a need in the house, if we need to get something, or my son needs something now, at the time I didn't have my son, but if we need anything, why not get it, you know, mm. like, what is the essence of money if I can't just do this thing, but yeah. you know, too much of everything is not good. On my mother's side, now, <laughs> my mom is one of those mothers, probably you guys can relate, you know, my mom is that person who is not afraid of debt, you know. So if she needs, my mom is one of, is, is those type of mothers who have clothing accounts, a furniture account, you know, any account you can think of as far as the someone room, you know. Mm -hmm. You see those people who sell pots, that you pieces, mm -hmm. and you pay, you begin to begin up your mind, like she would get into those type of things. Mm -hmm. And if they're selling, you know, go and see we have, Makula, like mm -hmm. the Somalians, you know, in South Africa, they sell blankets, mm -hmm. like that come with like matching curtains, matching whatever, all those type of things. So they would come and give you, you know, gas call out, like on credit, mm -hmm. and then you pay payment. So my mom was not afraid of these things, you know, like she, mm -hmm. she would just get, 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 mm -hmm. you know. So my father was a spender. Mm. Whatever you need, you get. Mm. My mother was not afraid of debt. So now mm. you can imagine the product. Mm. <laughs> so, mm. uh, <laughs> yeah. So, like, you know, and also my mom, like, has this thing of she does not, she also does not think we should struggle in the house when there's money, you know. Mm. Even if I can be left with 100 rands and it's the last thing and we are craving cake and we need it, I'm like, mm. yeah, but we are, we are spending towards the right thing. Let's mm. get that, you know. Mm. Yeah, so she she kind of raised me with that philosophy, you yeah. know. So now when I first got, when I got my first job, I didn't, I was not scared of debt. Yeah. Like I was not scared of taking a credit card. It was not a big problem to me. And my mom opened an account for me, by the way, like a clothing account where when I was at varsity, I used to just go take clothes, you know, throughout the year. Like I would go and buy and then she would just pay per month. So yeah. now I'm graduating. I'm, I'm, I'm a spender. You remember how we used to go out? Mm -hmm. I also kind of like had this philosophy of her you know, when we were still both studying, he used to take me out a lot. He used to buy me things and so on. But, you know, I couldn't wait for that moment where I have more money so that mm. I can take you out as well. Like, you mm. know, we need to go out and I'm the one doing, like, paying and so on. I wanted that, you know. Mm. So, 
we would go out and I remember sometimes you would feel like if you don't comfortable say eh, but then we are eating out a lot mm. and so on but for me it was like but why should we suffer we've been struggling all along mm. so it's our time to do that mm. and so and, and 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 also in that same year my mom now stopped paying the clothing account that meant she left it for me now mm. and they increased my buying power Mm. Because now I'm working <laughs> and I'm earning, you know, and so I then went and took clothes. Yo, guys, yo, I know. And then on top of that, I got a credit card and so on and so on. And so before I knew it, I was owing these small things like gym membership, mm. what, 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 even with the gym membership. I think one other money mistakes mistake I made was I used I love surprising people. As I said, like my father was that person who. Yeah, it would make you happy by spending money. Basically, yeah. just get you things. You know, so you'd be happy. You'd give you money and so on. Mm. So, if I know that my partner loves gym, for example, mm. I was surprised by going to, you know, surprised you by getting there and signing up and saying, mm. "Hi, I signed you up for gym." Mm. <laughs> you know, and, so on. and that's what I did. So I wasn't consulting with him on certain things. You know, mm. some things, yeah, he knew about obviously, mm. but he wasn't that vocal <laughs> you know but yeah so i would just be like okay you know what my husband loves this let me just get in there and do this and then i'll surprise him mm -hmm. but then i didn't know that you know that was a long-term membership and if i want to come out i need to pay over ten thousand mm -hmm. and so on you know mm -hmm. so for me the philosophies that you know i came from my childhood was that of not being afraid of of what you call this not being afraid of of deaths yeah. you know yeah it's okay to be to not be afraid of deaths because anyway if you think about you know working the working class people you yeah. need a house you're gonna have to take a loan somehow so, you need a maybe a car you can save up for it yeah mm -hmm. but you know there are certain things that maybe even if you save for a car if it comes to a family type of a car or so you may need to budget for deposit but you will still now need a little bit of loan then mm -hmm. there and so on you know mm -hmm. to yeah extent. to some to some extent so yes you shouldn't be afraid to do that but that does not mean that you should just take anything you mm -hmm. know and for me i didn't have that limitation it was like okay yeah. i can qualify for this why not take it and i feel like i was also taking things because i can qualify even mm -hmm. when i went for a credit card i thought i was just gonna get a 10k five thousand i needed it for something urgent at the time you know mm -hmm. and so but when i got there that guy was like you qualify for what was it thirty eight thousand, mm -hmm. and then i was like okay good mm -hmm. all of it i didn't know that Actually, I didn't even know, as you're saying, education and understanding these things, you know, from school and so on. I didn't know that it was so stupid, but I didn't know that you can actually say, oh, I qualify for this, I just want 5,000. I thought if you qualify, they just give you that, you have to you know, understand that. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I was really clueless. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for me, my money philosophy was not being scared of debts, like, and also, secondly, being a spender. Yeah. You know, and not having limitations. Yeah. You wanna add before we move to the next point? Yeah, I know I, I, I think you've you've said it all. Um I, and I think the one thing yeah, that I can uh rather say in summary is that it, it it all goes with the the mindset. And I think you probably picked it up as she was articulating the the mistakes that um, they are all rooted into your perspective of money, your view of money. Mm -hmm. And I think the mindset is the biggest thing that uh, you'll probably want to deal with so that you know you've got a healthy financial um, uh, uh, journey going forward. Especially when you um, are married, um, even when you're alone. You know, I feel like these habits... As we they say, start there. Mm, they start there. Yeah. So you need to develop a very good habit mm -hmm. of 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 being okay with money. You know, mm -hmm. be happy that I've got money in my account. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't mind to go broke in my main account, but in my savings account, I've got a lot of money. Yeah. You know? So be happy. You know, it's good. It's actually okay for you to get paid, and it finds that. The salary you got last month is not all gone, you know. So, uh, and I think those are the realities mm -hmm. that we, we, 
we struggle with, we feel like, um, I mean, if we should just finish everything. You yeah, know? if I qualify for something, If you it qualify it. for something, take it all. <laughs> so all, all those things, you know, they, they, they are, uh, and I'll say this for the second time, a mistake of um, what we were not taught. But again, you cannot blame them. You know, yeah. they were not teaching us. Uh, I mean, financial well, I literacy. <laughs> I actually have. I have to make the right decisions for my son because mm. it has taught me that if I, you know, with I know it's tempting, Jamie, that to spoil those little ones is very. It is. Tempting. It is very tempting. But I've learned that you know, educate financial education starts aluminium. So you mm. know, mm. yeah, I mm. Mfundo understands when there's no money to buy something or if we have to buy him something once a month mm -hmm. and we'll see next month or after two months like I tell him when day we use money to buy and so on so mm -hmm. I can be conscious about that yeah. you know like yeah. he just doesn't think you have money you just mm -hmm. but we're going to move to second year of marriage whereby now we're gonna start analyzing your mistakes because you're digesting my mistakes <laughs> <laughs> second year of marriage Mfunda is now here I'm a stay-at-home mom and Mr. Tola is working. And we just thought, wow, finally, Chavi, we are rich, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, because, like, when he got his first job, he was able to replace, like, my salary. And it's more like, like, any for two people with one salary. So that meant abundance. And remember, we are coming with that mentality, that, that idea of... You know, I am not going to say anything as oh. far as how the spending goes yes, and so on. Yes, yes. But at the same time, I'm analyzing something. I'm realizing this as we're talking right now. That from varsity, you with this guy who, if I need something, in fact, sometimes even when I didn't need something, you'd say, hey, don't you want to do your hair today? Mm. Don't you want to do this? Don't you want to do that? <laughs> so I feel like to some extent, maybe also spending also kind of like made you feel like, yeah. <laughs> I'm the man because at the time we still, we still didn't care about saving. Yeah. And yeah. the reality of we are now we are now a couple. We are now adults to begin with. Mm -hmm. We are now parents, and there are certain things we must have. You know, mm -hmm. but things like having certain insurances Please. and a federal cover. Very important because there are many young people yeah. that now we have, but you know, at the time we didn't have. Mm -hmm. And you know, most young people, even our families, we've seen young people passing away, and families have to gazette mm -hmm. so that you know we can bury this person, you mm -hmm. know. So, those things were still not yet part mm -hmm. of the budget and reality, and you were still not yet that bold with, hey guys, we're gonna save. We're gonna do this. Mm -hmm. Money has to go to this, and this is what should come this side. Yes, I, I think I was excited that now I'm I I I, I can provide. Mm -hmm. Um, I was happy that okay, uh, finances won't be a problem. Mm -hmm. Our spending wasn't structured. There were a couple of lessons I had obviously learned. Um from the uh, time you were working and some of the mm. things we did during that time. So I, 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 I had this whole idea of wanting to keep money, but I think on those first years, I was not really uh, what you call um, that much um, adamant about, about that. You know, I was not at the point where I am really meaning business when I say let there be something mm -hmm. uh, and that goes to savings, let there be something that goes to investments and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. At that time I was just, um, okay, there is money, I have a son, I just have to spoil him. And I think, I, if I remember, I spent a lot of money on him when he was young, that when he grew up a little bit, I thought, those things were not necessary. Mm. The excitement of being a new dad also got to me, and I think that was the 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 the, the, the mistake. Probably, I can say I I, I can recall mm. because um, uh, I, I didn't want him to like anything. Yeah. Like neither did I want you to like anything. Mm. 
So when I realized that there is a gap, there's something that needs to be done, I was very quick to say, you know, let's do this, let's close that, let's 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 get that, you know. If we if it's a need and we want it, um, or, or, or rather if it's a need and it, or, or even if it's a want, <laughs> if you were to classify it like that, mm. let's just get it. And I think uh, I, I I was trying to be that voice of reason. I was trying. I mean that um, I was trying to be that uh, provider mm. at the time. I was trying to just focusing on the provision. Mm. You know. So having gone through all those you know mistakes in our beginning stages of our marriage mm -hmm. and I think also what made it also kind of like difficult for us but at the same time gave us the opportunity to strategize was all those roller coasters we had whereby you know mm -hmm. one year I'm not working you are working mm -hmm. and then one year you working I mean you're not working and I'm working you know mm -hmm. I think that forced us to actually Choose between settling for we can't do this, we're just gonna continue living recklessly with the excuse that you know we only live within one salary, you know, mm -hmm. or choosing to make the right decisions starting from that one salary, yeah, such that when now God start opening doors, we can now have those healthy habits now, true, and, you know, and those lessons to start now doing the right thing. That's very true, that's very true. Uh, what you say basically. Um, what I'm getting there is that the amount does not matter. Mm. The money you get, the money you're receiving is not a problem. Mm. The problem is the attitude towards it. Yeah. So any amount of money that you've got, you can make it work for you. Yeah. And I think that's, that was the lesson that we, we've learned as well to say, I mean, we've got, we had a season where you you had to be at home and look after our son and stuff like that and i was working and there was a season when i was not working at the time mm. and and you were working you know uh the beauty about that is that yeah, our son was still you know not in the way not there but uh, uh i feel like there were lessons that we've learned through that mm. and as you said the roller coasters we have learned we, we, we we've had seasons where we we where we, we one part of the unlike now where we're both working mm -hmm. at some point where you were working i was not working i'm working you're not working mm -hmm. those uh turmoils they actually gave us a a, a a feel of how it is to live only on one, one salary yeah. you know so which means that basically um learning the right financial mindset or the right the right financial uh, uh, skills you can still make it work mm, depending within one salary because for us we kept on thinking we will do better once we start both working especially i think the season where you were the only one working lasted longer mm. you know <laughs> that, yeah. so it we we thought like no you know what there's gonna be that moment and we'll start saving we'll start doing this we'll start going for this type of investment we'll start opening this but it got to a point where we realized you know what that moment may not come so we mm. need to start now mm. you know we True. need to start looking into what can we do and our first strategy you know i think which is one thing we ended up accepting was that you know what we have this situation and we have to be willing to start somewhere you know build the habit first yes because you know sometimes i feel like we tend to condemn ourselves to say i should be able to save do this do this do that do that do that mm -hmm. all at mm -hmm. once but you know yourself. and then you fail and then you give up like this thing cannot happen mm -hmm. but we had to really start someone think you know what it's okay let's start with what we can do at yes. first and that was firstly budgeting to say we're gonna close our own debts yes. you know the, the the small accounts we have and by the way when you're saying that <laughs> we're not talking about huge things but mm. we're also talking about like those things that we regretted having just from what you said about the fact that the money it will never be enough mm. uh, so what i've noted is that you you don't have to wait for money to mm. be more before you start doing certain things in life mm. and i think the money does not really matter but the mindset is what matters. So if you can save a 500 rand, you will definitely be able to save when you get a thousand rand. Mm -hmm. If you can save, it doesn't really matter what, how much you get. And I think the challenge uh, we had also was that um, 
we 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 felt like we have to probably just wait a bit until yeah, we are all a, 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 we probably all working and then we can be able to do things like yeah. that together. But then we we, we realized that we should just start immediately and uh, have our savings, have investments, especially when we now have a child, we have to think not just providing now, providing now, but a future provision, yeah. you know. So, and I think that is where we are at the moment. Mm. We are at a season where we have really learned, you know, through the ups and downs that uh, we have to better manage our finances. And I can mm -hmm. tell you mm -hmm. now, for an example, um, and, and I was telling my wife this as well to say, you know, my philosophy, I, I, I understand when somebody says, I've got a house to pay, I've got a car to pay, even though they, I, I now know that you can actually get a car cash. You don't need to say, mm. to say I, I, I'm, I'm a, you can get a very good car cash, yeah. definitely. So mm -hmm. I understand when you've got those big things like your car and your house. Mm. But according to me, I don't think, and I think we've, we've, we've actually exhausted this and that unfortunately our mothers had this habit. But I don't think you should owe until a spoon if I do, uh, I mean, tupperware, tupperware. <laughs> you know, all those things, you know, yeah. uh, the, the, the blankets you're sleeping on, yeah. It, 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 yeah. But yeah, so you should have certain things that you can tell yourself that these are the things that I'm going to acquire um, cash. Um, but then the most important thing is to build a good saving and investment habit. So at this moment, we're in a space whereby wow we have actually built a habit of getting our things cash mm. and i feel like those uh ups and downs that we went through they were really worth it when yeah, we look at what were. the possibilities we see today you know mm. um and what we are able to do now with just what we are getting mm. and especially now that we are in a, in a space whereby we both are working yeah. and we both have good jobs, you know, yeah. and I feel like if we carry those till now and expect that that's when we're going to start making certain things a habit, mm. you know, good financial, I mean, healthy financial decisions now, mm. we're really going to do worse than yeah, now. Absolutely. One other lesson though that we learned, remember now we have established a saving, good saving, uh, what do you call this, habits, mm. but you know, we also had to remain disciplined, yeah. which is one other That's thing. Different. Remember moving from us now paying, doing our things in cash, paying mm. off our loans yes. and saving up the money. Mm. And now once you feel like now I have enough, there's that excitement that comes like, you know, let me do this. Let me take mm. this. Let me move here. Let me mm. do that. You know, and so staying disciplined mm. has been one of the lessons that we had to learn but not that we i feel like we were not failing in that yet like mm. we haven't failed in that but we've faced those situations you know yeah. like where and i think i'm just gonna bring it to context i don't know i don't know how to speak about things this way mm. <laughs> you know right. yeah in parables like i just say it as it is but yeah like you know, with the car that we almost bought, like about, was it, is it about three weeks ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah some few. Yeah. yeah, we had to, like, it was a good buy. Yeah, was a good he buy. wanted to take it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I actually firstly had a doubt because I felt like, oh, but then, you know, if we take all this money and put it in this car, that mm. means now we have to start afresh and mm. so on. Mm. No, mm. is this even the right mm. investment? True. You True. know, and so on. Because we've reached a point where we we also want to we want to own things mm. as early as possible. As early as so possible. part of that means getting ourselves our land, yes. you know, to build in mm. and, and so on. So I said mm. we're trying to take not trying to, we have seen that it's possible. There's actually one person that he's been following a lot and learning mm -hmm. from who has built an entire not an entire house three mm -hmm. houses mm -hmm. from a salad mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. there's Please. that possibility and so we had to consider is this the right investment because we also mm -hmm. want to own our house early we want to build ourselves like True. this so if we put this in this car right now that means yeah. we have to start again yeah. and that will mean that we have to settle again to say to cancel our 
motion of saying we now gonna buy what we can yes. if we go for a loan we're going for a loan because yeah we didn't have a choice True. so that means we have to cancel that and go back and to the bank again yeah. say we need one two three mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but again we are purchasing a liability yeah, you know, liability. that's going to need us to service now mm-hmm. we have two cars to service and so on True. so staying disciplined as well mm-hmm. to your budget to mm-hmm. your you know what you call this to your financial plans mm-hmm. It's also one challenge we faced, yeah, but also one that I feel like we're fed up after four years of, yeah. you know, after mm. four years of trying to make it, like we're fed up and that has, mm. you know, mm. made mm. us to be focused and disciplined. Focus and discipline. I think you mentioned something very profound, mm-hmm. uh, discipline, discipline. And I, I cannot emphasize that too much. I think you've exhausted that point. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I, I like though your, your final sentiments when you said we're fed up. And I think it, it, it begins there when you are tired of sick. Of, you're just tired of being, being sick tired. and tired. <laughs> you know, yeah. you, you, you just want to get it through, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, you reach that point to say, I'm going to let this money work for me. I mean, I'm not going to be always um you know having to chase the money you yeah. know so and i think we 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 we, we are in a right path at the moment mm-hmm. um we've closed off with a lot of things and mm-hmm. and we are uh, we have realized that we it's actually like can do that with just the money without you don't need a credit card you know? mm-hmm. and that's what i was telling you uh, just a few weeks ago that you know we're living a life we 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 living our life very nicely without any reliance on the, on, the, on, the, on the credit card because that can be something very uh, you know delusional. It can make you think you actually afford the lifestyle yeah, that you don't. Yeah. You know, so to be able to live within that that money and be able to even save. Uh, mm-hmm. And still uh, be able to take and pay important things like investments and stuff. And think about your little and stick, Exactly. It, it's, it's actually very good, you know. Uh, I don't think you need anything more than that. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I think uh, if you can do those things with your salary, you, you, you definitely uh, uh, should go for it, you know. Yeah. And uh, you don't have to keep on delaying the process. True. Uh, I'm actually thinking about, you know, one of the things that, you know, which I feel like even with us has been one stigma we faced mm-hmm. in our years of mm-hmm. marriage, you know, especially as young couples. Yes. You know, we have, remember, we coming into marriage and prior to this wave of young marriages, mm-hmm. there was a wave where, like, like, old people used to marry. People used to marry once they are over 30 yeah, and so true, on. True. So, you know, those people... They've been working for a long time and mm. they now already have a house, already have a car, you know, and yeah. ready for the wife. If you get married, you come, you move it into your own house, mm. I mean, your husband's home, you know, and mm. stuff like that. So even with my own parents, it was the same situation, you know. Mm. And so we're looking at that, and that has built this philosophy that mm. as a married couple, you should have a house mm. right away. You should have a house. You should have this type of a car like you shouldn't be driving a small car mm. when you are married especially when also people understand what you're doing what is your job title you yeah, know and so yeah, that philosophy yeah, has yeah. really even pushed most of us into things that we shouldn't drink, put our pressure I mean, yeah. put ourselves under pressure with you mm. know and so for us the stigma has been around that like as saying okay why you know having this yet why are you not doing this yet why are you not mm-hmm. and i feel that when we talk about discipline that's one thing also that can cause one to lose that focus to lose that discipline and i feel that you know disregarding those philosophies what the society says mm-hmm. you know can help in sticking to one's goal i think we're gonna need a part two of this yeah we do definitely going to need a part two but I hope, uh, I hope you guys have learned a lot because what you can get just from this is that, you know, master your own finances, mm. be the master of your start own finances you and start where you are. Mm. Uh, uh, make sure that you literally focus on your own plan. Mm. Don't focus on what people are saying. People will go, are going to say stuff. Mm. People want you to be driving a certain car, to be living in a certain house. Um, follow your own path, you know. You, you will get... 
a lot of these things um, as long as you discipline enough mm -hmm. to focus on exactly what you want mm -hmm. and what you want to get um, yeah and uh, and yeah and I think if you if you do that you, you stick to your course um, and again you know it's never too late to start there's money you're getting is enough already for you to start yeah. saving for you to start doing things that are going to be uh, an investment to your future, mm -hmm. you know, so you're not going to be um, uh, uh, sort of, um, uh, how can I say, um, living maybe from pocket to mouth, yeah. you know, so definitely that will be my advice or take home mm -hmm. message from this part one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure in part two, uh, uh, I will hear from Mrs. Twana, but I think no. it will come with more on part two, I want us to talk about splitting finances as a couple. Oh, okay. Would you like okay. that? So if you would like us to talk about that, just come back again next time. Make sure that you're subscribed. So you're going to talk about that because we feel mm. that that's also one of the challenges. Remember oh, yes. when we were still at varsity, you said my salary to be just for my hair <laughs> and nails. And then his salary will take care of so everything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, see you on the next one, guys. Bye. <laughs> Set my world on fire. Your